Hello there beautiful people, we are back off out in the field, we're in the top field, I've just gotten over tonsillitis which has been awful, I've been very weak so this might be a short video. Um, we've got ourselves a lovely, lovely long field which is one of the top fields that I wanted to get into because it's always had very high grass, it's on the top of the hill so relatively flat and I nipped around once he'd cut the grass and I had quite a few signals in here so I'm really, really hopeful we're going to have some good stuff come out. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Right, you beautiful lot, we've got a belting little target down here. Maybe not. So there's 21 to 22 here. Two on the depth gauge, so not deep. Which is down there. I think we might be by some iron. That's why we got that disturbance. It does feel good to be back out again, but I am certainly more tired than I was. I've just been so achy all the time. It's been really getting me down, so I thought, you know what, today's the day. Zone. I saw that um, there were a couple of people online that posted that when they collect all of their lead from the field they melt it down and they make it into so they melt it down pour it into molds and make chess sets which is pretty incredible although I don't know that I want to be touching lead to play chess and having to wash your hands I don't know <laughs> the none the next right guys we've got a couple of signals down here and um, two of them aren't very good but we've got one little squeaky one that's right in there so it's lovely <laughs> That one, yeah. 27 to 29. I'm assuming we're probably just led again, to be quite honest. Um, the last one gave off, so it seemed to be two signals. Oh, because obviously they were an, an amalgamation of metals. Ooh. Well, musket will certainly work, so I'm assuming that that works with um, household lead and stuff as well, that they just sort of used whatever they could. Not sure if that was sort of more of a civil war metal crisis sort of thing, or right, we've got a bash regardless. Right, sounds like we're still in there. And we got it. We are, I believe, still. I don't know. I mean, we're a bit of a label of something. I'll see if there's anything else in the hole. Right, guys, another bit of a sketchy one here. All the sounds are good, but they're all sort of 27 and it dips down to about 7, so. been pasture for a while, or at least growing grass, so I'm assuming it's going to be ploughed, but... <laughs> I'm not sure what we are. Let's pop this back in a minute. Either we're a musket ball that's hit his target, or... Just some melted aluminium. Um, 
uncertain. I can't see whether it's silver or white in this light. Maybe just a smushed old musket ball. Right, on to the next. Right, guys and girls, we've got ourselves, I don't know if you can see up here, you can see the um, top of our field, that's the field we went into. So down the bottom there is the um, mill. You come on up and there's that little corner bit there. I did that the other day and it was rubbish. So <laughs> got a target down here, which is a bit sketchy. 13 to 20. <laughs> Got to feel probably a bit more rubbish here, but I know it's in here, it's just finding it, especially with all the rubbish. Ooh. in the hole. One of the better signs. like a little bit of a gnarly green colour to it but I've scuffed it slightly or it's shiny on this side I think we're just a scrap again almost looks like a trumpet brooch oh, not a trumpet brooch like a Roman brooch brooch right on to the next a lovely little quiet target here 16 sort of 22 Quite deep. Problem is, is we're losing a lot of the targets because it is so dry. Um, the field is quite dry. I really wish we'd had a bit more, like a bit of rain last night or something. That would have made this perfect. But you can't get it like that every time. Um, the farmer was very, very kind to let me in here after he just cut it. I mean, literally, they just finished taking the tractors out as I pulled up. So. <laughs> Copper there with William Rory or Rallery, something like that. P. Not too sure. Ah, fuck it. On to the next. Right, guys, you might notice I got some black tape on my shovel. I noticed there was a very small hairline crack in the wood. I've spoken to, uh, well, I, I have emailed Bergen and Bull and I was just like, no, is this something we should be concerned about? Is this something that's quite common with it being wood and obviously warping and things like that? Uh, it does get left inside, so it shouldn't uh, be by a heater as well, so it shouldn't matter too much. But yeah, I, I just put some duct tape around there, just hold it until I get a proper response. We've got a target down here. It's not as nice as it was before. So sort of 11 to 22. Thank you. I'm assuming we're pretty more rubbish. Um, yeah. Can't escape it. Ugh. I'm assuming we're probably in the flood actually as well. Oh, it led. It wasn't new. 
any means. Yeah, with just some more lead there and um, possible pop end of some description, but flat on the back and then we've got a little ridge here which might have housed some sort of pot, but here's what it is. On to the next. Right guys, I've just gone all the way to the other side of the field because I know that the edges are very, very good and usually the most promising sides, especially when things get ploughed like this does. Not quite to the end yet, but we're far away from the road now. We've got a belting little target here. Very high. Could well just be a Coca-Cola can. <laughs> but, oh, it just sounds that little bit more nice than that. some of the other targets we've been getting. We're still in the hole, so that's a good sign. Weight of some description. Very circular. The edges are quite scabby. What we were. Maybe we're not led actually. Um, can't get any info off of it, so it's kind of mostly being a trade weight, but yeah. Be hung from a clock or something. That's why it's a screaming sound. Beautiful circle. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, got another tiger down here. It's not quite as big as the last one, thankfully. Same sort of target, though. 13, 14. Let's hope we're not another part of the can, otherwise, uh, I've made the wrong decision coming over here. But we will see. It did sound like a cannon. But Side and outside here. Hmm. I haven't a clue. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, we've got a screaming little target down here. And over here, you can see there's a big old mound in the field, so I'm gonna definitely go up there. Right, let's check this one out. Eighteen thirty. We're an absolute 
absolutely minuscule bit of lead. So small. Right, under the next. Right guys, we're on day two. The last one I just got exhausted. So we're on day two now. Back out, the field is still very short. It was only yesterday that I popped out. So we're gonna come here. We've got ourselves our first ever, well, our first coin of the field. And it is only a spendable one penny there, but it is a coin nonetheless. We never had a coin last time. We only had pieces of aluminium, lead, lots and lots of lead actually, and moo tubes. Three darn moo tubes as well. But yes, now we're on a coin, so fingers crossed. Now we've had that little bit of rain, we're in for a better luck. On to the next one. Right guys, I'm pretty sure this is rubbish because you've got a killer signal here. It's an absolute perfect one. 33 dead. There's over 32 there. Not hugely deep. Uh, we're fairly close to the road, so I'm assuming we're going to go something fairly large and aluminium or something of the like. We have some golden aluminium y stuff. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, I really wish I'd recorded this now, but I mean, it's nothing massively special. We've got a beautiful large musket ball here. Not been fired, clearly pocket drop or something. But that is ginormous. I mean, my hands are pretty big. Yeah, lovely, lovely little musket ball. The farmer would be happy with that. Cracking it, on to the next. Right guys, we've got a little target down here. It doesn't seem very big because the pinpoint was a bit sketchy, but it sounds quite nice. Yeah, there's a bit of a dodgy bit to it, but... <laughs> mainly sort of 1921. Let's just have a little go. Isn't it? There's a coin on it. Ah! That was mean. Ooh. Little gold coloured rivet there. I just saw the outside here, it looked silver, but yes, yeah, just a little rivet. Right, on to the next one. Right, you love it. We got a bit of a weird one down here again. It's an old metal road, <clears throat> and I've got no negatives in there, so we'll see. So sort of 21, 28, 19, 21. It's supposed to be just there. Uh, I'm not massively confident with this. Uh, well, I, I'm not confident in any way, shape or form that you can't, but you just never know. And when they're slightly sketchy, it could be that they are, because I'm on all metal mode now. No, sorry. I'm on the multi-frequency, which is um, a bit sketchy when it comes to things that aren't round or silver or gold. So, yeah, I found that um, 10 hertz, which was my go-to for ages, was my sort of standard because I found that it, there was very little, like, sort of chatter and it was just so much easier to use. Uh, but obviously, you know that you're possibly risking missing out on certain things. I never had any trouble finding silver, but... Ooh. Ooh. I see it. Ooh. Oh, we're another one. We're another, another musket ball, just to prove it. would have been a bit battered. There you go, look. So there's lots happened here. It's still not um, fired, I don't think. Just, just been a bit battered in the soil by the stones. Lovely jubbly. On to the next one. Right, guys, got a screaming little signal here. Perfect 16, 15. Mainly 16. 
It doesn't sound massive, but it's a nice loud target. So I'm assuming you're around. Musket balls are way in my pocket down now. Right, where are we hiding? Nothing obvious. Hmm. Inspection. The <laughs> Mew Tube. The Tubus Mewus. Um, broken, but definitely a moo tube. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, got a belting little target here. It's very high and then it goes a bit low, so I don't really know, but it's a screamy little target. 19 to 33. Just down and laugh. Um, I've been toying with it. Again, the pinpoint has been a bit funky on it, so it could be that we're another um, moo tube or something that's um, just ringing up slightly differently. The farmer's to and fro coming to get poo and always looks over and gives me a big smile and a wave, so it's really nice to see. I'm, I'm excited to show him the uh, musket ball later because uh, he's, he's got a collection of the things I've found which is all of the good things I've found so far because like I said before I think uh, I'm going to put them all together in a nice frame for him because I know the other landowner absolutely loved it and although he was sceptical at first I think he really likes the idea himself Ooh. Whatever we are, we're you. Um, it's shattered, whatever it was. Lovely sort of darkish patina to it. Ah, chuck it on the floor, that'll do it. Lovely darkish patina to it. Oh, you can't even really see it in this lighting. Come over this way. Uh, no, can't really make it out. The sun's a bit bright. Yeah, so it's a fragment of summit. Right, on to the next. Right guys, we just had a small piece of iron here, which is very round. And we've got another target just here. 17, 18, straight. Doesn't look very deep. Just down in there. Absolutely screaming little signal. special God, it's right on the surface you can see how dry it is seems strange just 
going to be a uh, leather mount for a um, like a strap end. Couldn't tell you how old it is. It's still got the like sharp point uh, would have gone into the leather. And this one's obviously been hammered over and rusted into it. Yeah, and it would have gone and held into the leather. It's like at the end of a belt buckle. I'd imagine it's not massively old, sort of 1700s or something. It's pretty cool though, quite beautiful in its own right. And once again, another thing that the farmer's going to be over the moon about. Lovely jubbly. Right, on to the next. Right guys, we just had a good clean up of this. Uh, I'm sorry I never recorded it, but it has got iron in it. I'm assuming that was what made the signal sound rubbish, because I genuinely thought it was going to be absolute cack. We got ourselves. Looks like it's either a fishing weight or some sort of steel yard weight of some description. But it's got like a little iron ring at the top here. A little iron down the bottom here. Really good clean up. It's crazy. Right. Sorry, I don't know if I did that on the camera or not. Right, on to the next one. Right guys, got another target just down here, it's an absolute screamer. It's got a coin feel to it, 16, 17, but it jumps up to 20. Sounds like it's down there. That was tricky. And yeah, doesn't give me a lot of hope. <laughs> I'm imagining it's not a coin if it's going to be like that. Oh. Oh, I've got so much lead in my pocket, it's weighing me down. Oh. multiple targets, is that it? Dress hook or something? Another mounty? I'm gonna double check that there's nothing else in there because obviously the signals were everywhere. But again, we've got another little hook which says leather to me or clothes. There's sort of nothing. I'm guessing it came up further. Is it snapped off? Uh, if it if it has snapped off, no, they were on the front. Oh, I'm not sure now. I was like, is it? Ever, um, Victorian sort of um, clothes fastener or something, but uh, no, I don't know. I'm going to say leather mount, but I will have a little look online. Look at it drying off already, and I will share it straight below. Pretty cool though. It's very phallic. Uh, on to the next one. Right, we've got an absolute belt signal here. 18, 19. And unlike most of them, it can be targeted. Mr. Mootube! Right! Just a Mootube there. Right guys, thank you so so much for watching. Uh, that is it for today. Um, we've been out for a good sort of two and a half hours now. Uh, but it's getting late and I just want to head back, just chill out. I've got um, my surgery on Tuesday. You probably won't see this, it'll probably be the Tuesday that's just gone, because obviously I haven't just posted a video. But yeah, no, unfortunately I've got to go for a um, camera into the bladder. And 
various stretchings and things like that, so it's not going to be very nice. <laughs> but yes, no, I'm going to have three days off then, so depending on how I feel, hopefully we can get another video out. If not, um, yeah, it might be a little while. Obviously, I've just got over a big illness as well, and yeah, had a phone call saying that, and then I got my um, grandma's funeral, who was 102 the week after, so chaos, chaos. Right, thank you ever so much. Check out LP Metal Detecting code Bigfoot Finding. Uh, save yourself 10%. Please do, because it helps me and it helps you as well. Thank you ever so much. Cheers now.